Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an email signature that you could use on Gmail and other email providers using my favorite software, Canva. I'm also gonna walk you through the entire process of how to find pre-made templates, how to create an email signature, and also how to activate them. Now, the best part is that you could start using these for personal use, and you could also create them and sell them as digital products on Etsy and other marketplaces as well. So if you find value in this video, make sure to like it, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to canva.com and do a search for email signature. This is gonna give you all of these pre-made templates that you could use for personal use. So keep in mind that these you could use for personal use, but you cannot use them to sell them as your own work. But I'm gonna show you how to create one from scratch as well. So just keep that in mind. So from here, you could just pick any of these that you like. Let's say that you like this one here. You're gonna be using this one for personal use. Go ahead and click on customize this template. What's nice about this is that there is already pre-done for you. You could change everything on the actual template from the colors to the font, to the size, to the icons. You could remove or add more details. So let's say that you do like this one here. You wanna change your branding colors. Click on the background and then this automatically will let you choose from your branding kit if you have one already pre-made on Canva. From here, you could just click right here and enter your name and you could change the font if you want to, to any of the fonts that you like. Let's say that, you know, I wanna go ahead and change it to this one. And you could go ahead and change the tagline. You could move this around if you need to as well to kind of play around with it and maybe even push this down or push it up more. Now, once you're happy here, this is where you make additional changes. Um, let's say you don't want your phone, you could just remove that. If you need to move this up, one of the quickest way is by selecting all like this and then dragging this up. Just makes it a little bit easier. You can also change the colors of these elements. So you could go here, click on the color and pick maybe like your branding colors if you want to, as I'm doing here and now you have your branding colors incorporated. And you could change the font of this if you want to by just simply picking the one that you want like this. And you will do the same for all of them. Now keep in mind when you're creating these for selling purposes, you wanna make sure that you're only using free fonts, that you're only using elements that are free. You don't want to use elements that the customer has to upgrade their Canva account because they might be upset with you if you if they have to. Go ahead and add your details. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and add my email. I'm going to go ahead and put my website address and then maybe I do have a business, right? So I put my business address there. Now you can add to this as well. So if you go to elements, you're able to go up here. Let's say I wanted to add my Instagram account, which I'm very active on Instagram. So I will go up here, pick one of these. So let's say I pick this one here. I make it a little bit smaller so it could fit the other icons and make sure that it's kind of size the same size. And from here, I could change again the color to my branding color. And I could just do T for text, put this down. And here I will put my handle. So you could do things like that, which is really nice because you could customize this to add any information that you need to add for your business. Once you're happy with your email signature, you're just gonna go ahead and download it as a PNG and you're gonna click on download. And this is automatically, it's gonna save to your computer or to your phone, depending on where you're creating it. Now, let's say that you want to create one to sell on Etsy, on your website, to give away, or maybe on other marketplaces. One way to do this is that when you went and you did a search for email signature, it gives you this option here, create a blank email signature. Or if you already created one, you could just click on add page. 
and this automatically is already sized for an email signature. So from here, you could change the background. So let's say I go ahead and change the background. So I'm going to go to photos. I'm going to pick this background here. And from here, I'm going to stretch it out. I think that looks good. I'm going to go to frames. I'm going to type up here frames and I'm going to pick one of these here. You could pick any of these here. You could do all, um, you could pick any of these here as well. I kind of like this one with the outline, make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to go to photos. I'm just going to use this young lady right here as a picture for now, just for the purpose of this video. So once you put your picture here, this is where you will add more information, right? For your signature. One cool way to do this is that you could look at these additional cards to get inspired. And what I recommend if you want to create something unique, different is to take different elements from different cards to get inspiration. Ultimately your final version of your business card that you're selling or signature card that you're selling should be very different to what other people have created. And it should have took you a bit of time to create. So just keep that in mind. Um, you do want to be ethical with everything you do and everything that you sell. So let's say that, you know, I go through this. I'm like, oh, these are so cute. Let's say I see this one here it has like a line on the bottom. What you could do is add this one here just to kind of get a closer look of it. And let's say that I do like that, but I want to add that line here instead. What I would do is go to elements. I would click on square. I would get this line here and I could just simply put it right here. Then I would change that to maybe one of my branding colors, maybe like a lighter color here. That one looks good there. Then maybe up here I would put my name. So I would do T for text, put my name and make this a little bit bigger, 20, and then maybe make this in a different font that will stand out a little bit more. So I do like how that looks. And let's say from here, I add a tagline on the bottom. I put business coach and I could keep that a little bit lighter than my name. I do like the difference there. As you can see, it's very easy to create this. I do recommend taking a, a little bit of time so you could create something that's very different, unique. And so you could stand out, especially when you're selling them on different platforms. And then from here, one cool trick that I have for you that you could start using um, is that if you see these cards here, you could just click here to kind of put them here. So you could look at them a little bit closer and get some ideas. Let's say that you like this, these icons here. One cool thing that you could do is that you could go in here. You could select, let's go ahead and delete that. You could select the, oops, it's not letting me. You could select these icons, trying to not select this here. So you could just push it up. You could select these and you could just drag them up here. And that just makes life easier instead of you having to go over here and search for them. And then let's say that you don't want the phone. You just want these three. You could just, again, select, put it up. And from here, you could do your, e your email. Right. And then you could put, let's say, make this a little bit smaller. And then you could drag it right there. Then you could go ahead and do your location, one, two, three, Main Street. You could do whatever you want, obviously, but you put your location, you could change that to a different icon if you want. And then again, you would select this, duplicate, sometimes a lot easier that way. And here I will put my blog or my website. And here we go. Now, once you're happy, let's say with your signature, um, that you have created that you're going to sell, all you need to do is you're going to click on share and you're going to click on template link and you're going to click on create template link. That is the link that you're going to be giving to people. So when you sell it, they could edit this particular template. Make sure you delete any ones that you have on the bottom and on the top before you share that link. Now you can share that link as many times as you want to. It doesn't matter. It won't interfere. The customer will have access to the file. And one thing that I highly recommend when you're selling these is to create a PDF guide where you put, a, where you put that link in there. It'll make it look more professional for people to click and learn more 
about this particular service that you're selling. You could have your about me story on the first page and then what they purchase on the second page. But this is how easy it is. And it's a really great way to do this, not only for personal, but to make extra money. Now I'm gonna show you how to activate this on your email signature. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to your Gmail account and you wanna go in the back end to add your signature. And you're gonna be doing this, even if you're not using Gmail, you're gonna be doing this in your Hotmail or whatever other email provider you're currently using. It might be a little bit slightly different, but the steps are gonna be very similar. So when you click on this little setting bars right here in the right hand corner, it actually opens this window up. This is where you could do changes on the back end for your inbox. You could add filters, you could add blocks, you could do all these different things. If you scroll down, you'll come to the part where it says signature. And this is where you will be editing your signature. You could have multiple signatures as well, if you want to. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create one, a new one. And I'm gonna say example for now. Obviously you will name it here. Maybe you're running a special, maybe you wanna promote something specific, maybe you have a launch of a new store or of a new product and you wanna use that signature for the next month. You could do that. So once you do that, it's gonna give you these options here. So you have the different type of fonts that you could pick from, the different size of font that you could use, um, bold, italic, underline, you could change the color of your text, which is really great for branding purposes. You could create hyperlinks, so clickable links that, they, that will take them anywhere that you want them to go to. And this is what you would use for your signature that we created right now in Canva. This is to align your text, and this is to add like bullet points, number lists, et cetera. So if you click on insert image, you go to upload, this is where you will go, select um, the image, and I'm gonna pick this one here, the one that we just created. Automatically, it's gonna upload it, and this is how it looks. Now from here, you could just click enter, go up, and you could just put up here, best regards. You could put your name, and this is what I will recommend. You can make this bold if you want to. You make it. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want to, like that. And then down here, you could have a link. So let's say I put um, shop our new XC store um, resources for XC sellers. Click here to check it out. You could do whatever you want. This is just me giving you an example. I'm gonna use my blog for now to create a hyperlink so I could just show you how to do it. So wherever you want the link to be, you're gonna highlight the word, you're gonna click on this little link, you're gonna add your URL, and now this is a hyperlink. When people click there, it will take them to wherever you put, whatever you put, whether it's your Etsy store, your Amazon, your Shopify, your YouTube channel, whatever you're promoting. You could obviously change this, you could make it italic, you could make it a little bit bigger if you want to, but it looks really, really good. If you're happy with your signature, what you're gonna do is down here, you're gonna put, you're gonna select the signature that you wanna use. So let's say I wanna use the example one and go down here and click on save changes. Always click on save changes. If not, you will have to start all over again. Now, whenever you create a new email, automatically that email is gonna pop up for you. So that's how simple it is to create an email signature. So if you have any questions about the process, please drop them below and make sure to watch these additional videos that will help you create more digital products. Thanks for watching.